All right, welcome to the training, everybody. So as I was just explaining a second ago to those who are here live with me, um, today's broadcast is about getting YouTube videos and other videos for that matter, but mostly YouTube videos onto your Volusion website and, and how to go about that process, okay? So that's what we're gonna cover. I'm gonna bring up YouTube right now as we speak. So that's up there in my in my browser, so it's ready to go. Um, and we're gonna grab, uh, let's grab just a random video that we can use as an example. In fact, we'll use uh, last week's Volusion training right here. This is this is posted on YouTube for you guys as a as, as kind of a test video to show you how to get something onto the site. Our our uh, sample site today is called Uptown Pearl. So I'm going to log into this this website. This is a Volusion website. And once I've logged in, as you can see, you got the little black box at the top right that we'll click on. And I'm going to get uh, I will get over to our dashboard here in just a second. But I want to talk about the different pages that you might want to consider getting video onto your site. And and probably, first of all, why why consider video on a site in general? So um let me just erase some of these notes here and then we'll and then we'll talk about video on a website. If if you're here with me live for just a sec, um maybe give me some feedback. Why why video on your website? That's the first thing I want to cover. Okay, why why do we care? Why do we want video? on the website, or, or do we? What are some of the reasons why we might have some? Specifically, not just any website. This is, uh, this is our e-commerce and often drop shipping website. So what, what role does video play there? If you've got any ideas, go ahead and put them in chat. I'm gonna start out with just a few. Um, I, think, I think the biggest one for e-commerce sites is uh, product video. Uh, probably, probably from your supplier unless you know how to take your own video of product, right? Because you, you'll notice video is used a lot. I mean, you see it used on Amazon quite a bit or other e-commerce sites where not only do they have really nice images, but they actually have a video that sort of shows the product and, and maybe shows its use and how it works and and uh, and use it, uses it to sell. My wife was looking at one of those, um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, they're the little iRobot floor cleaners, right? That, that sort of just, automatically and periodically throughout the day go around and vacuum up the carpet or whatever or clean the floor. And when we were looking at these, one of their biggest ways of selling it was they didn't just have a product photo and a description. They had a video there that actually showed this thing working, which I'm sure helps increase conversion rates, especially on a product that sometimes is four, five, six hundred dollars. Now your suppliers may not have video of of their stuff. Okay, and if they don't have video readily readily available, either you'd have to find some video out there on on some of your products, or you'd have to make your own. And and so that might not be something you do in the early stages of the business. But bottom line, if you have access to video that for products, that's probably one of the primary reasons you'd want to use it. Okay. Um, two, uh, you see, sort of like um, I, I'm going to call it like a sales video or a commercial. You may have something like that, maybe not. I, I know some of our clients actually have a, a video production crew create a little commercial for them. It, it can be expensive, but it's valuable. And if you have something like that, that might be a type of video you use. Um, what else? Maybe something informational, right? Yeah, kind of like a like a how-to, maybe. An informational type video. Um, they get used just on informational pages of your site or on your blog or whatever. Um, you know, there's a lot of informational videos out there. That's probably the biggest reason why YouTube is so prominent, right? Is because people put up these how-to videos that could you, you could use in different er areas of your site. Um, so, I mean, there's there's other ones besides that, but that's probably some of the reasons why you, you'd want to you'd want to add video. Maybe you created your own video. I mean, who knows, right? But bottom line is. Is, is they do help with conversion rates, and that's the big thing, right? Anything that's going to help with conversion rate, because that's ultimately all that matters when you've got a website, if you consider it nothing more than just an advertisement, whatever you can do to enhance your site so that more visitors turn into a greater percentage of buyers, which in essence is this right here, helping your conversion rate, that's what you want to do, okay? 
If you don't have any video at all right now and you're just launching your site, don't stress about it. It's fine. This is just for you, those of you guys who do. Okay, so let's get into the actual how part of it. Now, there, there's different pages of a site, right? You've got one, you've got your home page. Um, two, you've got uh, category pages. Three, you've got product pages. And then four, you've got information pages. This would be like a, an about us or a contact us, shipping, right? Something like that. I want to talk about each and how to get video onto it. So here's my site right here. This is the Uptown Pearl site. Let's let's pretend for just a second that I wanted to get video here somewhere. Now, where would I put it? I, I, I may put it up here at the top where the slider is, but in most sites these days, we kind of like to have a slider. So let's let's keep the slider there. It could come below that, between that and your featured products. I don't even know if I'd do that either because I like the featured products. I would put it down below the slider and featured products, maybe down in this area here. Um, the unique thing about the new Volusion platform right now is this, if I click on this option right here, the little, bla the little black uh, arrow box right here, right? I get what's called the content builder to show up. And I'm getting the content builder because I'm sitting on the home page. See, if I were sitting on, say, a category page, like the necklaces page here, and then I click the black box here at the top right, notice what you see here, and I think I've addressed this before, but I want to just address it one more time. It says, content builder has been disabled on this page. Why is the content builder not working for this page? Well, it's because it's a category page and it simply just does not work on a category page, okay? Why does that matter? I'll, well, I'll explain. If we go back to the home page and we click on the little box at the top right, I do get a content builder. And, and the unique thing about a content builder is if I click on um, any of these, see I can scroll down and I, I get all these little pre-created bits of content. It's like a formatting builder on your site. So if I look through here, I might be able to find something for video, which uh, which I can, well, here it is. Here's three sections right here for video. I can do it by just scrolling or I can come up here and I can find the video subsection, right? So where it says default, I can go to video and I get three different video options. I either get sort of this like full screen video option right here. So that's option number one. Number two is I get this option where I can have the video on the left-hand side of the page and then I can have content right here, written content on the right. Or the third option, I can get written content here on the left and then video right here on the right. So I can decide the way I want it to look um, and, and whatever is fine. In this case, um, let me use... I guess it doesn't really matter. Maybe we can do a couple versions of this, but I'm going to drop this full screen video. I mean, I'm going to drag and drop. So watch me here. I'm clicking and I'm going to drop it right here towards the bottom. And it's a little finicky, but if I can get this little, I don't know if you see that where my mouse is, but you get this line that keeps showing up and disappearing, right? If it disappears, I can't drop it. But if it shows up and I unclick my, my mouse button, I get this video right here, okay? Again, that's a little finicky. The drag and drop element of it isn't really great, but if you drag it and hold it and you get that little vertical gray type rectangle and then drop it by unclicking your mouse, it'll usually drop in okay. All right, so there it is. Now, obviously I don't want this, uh, this bunny video here, right? I wanna choose my own. The way you choose your own is you come up right here to this little blue box that says edit link where my mouse is, right? You see that right there? Moving my mouse right here, edit link. And if I click on that, you'll notice I get this link right here. That's a YouTube link. So this is this is a YouTube video. So I would have to go out, copy, copy a link from YouTube, paste it in there, and hit OK. And then it should come up OK. Where do you get your link? Well, you come up here and you grab your link just you know, here on YouTube, right? Um, now, there's different ways to get a link on YouTube. If 
if I'm on watching a YouTube video, the link for it is always just right here at the very top. This would be the link for it. Okay, see where I circled? So that's the link for this particular YouTube video. If I need to grab a different um, a different version of the link, I find the share option. So right here, see where it says share? That's, that I'm sitting on YouTube watching this video right now, right? I find the little share option and I click on that. I just highlighted that for you guys so you guys should be able to see it. I click share and then you've got this, uh, either this share option or this embed option right here. See this embed option allows me to embed the photo onto my site, okay? Um, and I can actually edit the size of it. I can do some different things right here. Video size, I can change it from 853 by 480 to something bigger or smaller. And I can I can change some settings on it, but this, this code would be used potentially on my site. I think in this case, let me try something here. I think I can use the, I'm gonna say this one here at the top. Let me, let me just try it real quick. Hold on just a sec. Let me let me try one of these links real quick. There we go. Okay, so here's here's the trick. See now now I've trained I've changed the video to the video that we did last week. When you're editing the link, this part will all stay the same. This part in blue I just highlighted. Keep that the same https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash embed i need the code for the video right here that code determines what video i'm displaying here on my site i find that code right here i know that's small but i'm going to circle it with my pen right here okay copy that um, word for word or letter for letter or it's it's what comes after the v equals here in my url that that's what you need in this case it's o dash q o q o j b two b e that's unique to this video because i copied that that'll work out okay let me show you again so you guys can follow that okay so i'm i'm just going to go click on some random video okay Let's do this one right here. Okay, this is another one of mine. Now I know for a fact that the, the code is right here already. After the V equals this right here, this is the code. If I highlight that, which I'm gonna do, just the H9ZUNXCUUQO, highlight and copy. And then if I take that over here to my site, and paste it right here and hit save that should change that should change the the video oops let's try that again there we go hit okay and then it changes it okay see that so now i have the power to change my video into whatever i want i can also come down here and hit the share button hit embed and then i can usually find that same thing right here highlighting it in blue Remember, it's just after slash embed slash and then that little number sort of code thing right there is, is what you're going to use. Okay. So what's cool is I put that in onto my site here and uh, now it looks good. So this it's full screen on my site. It's a nice looking video there. If I didn't want full screen, okay, and I didn't like this, I could hit cancel here and, and pull out this video. And like I was saying before, you can use this. Uh, Oh, whoops, hold on. I didn't delete it. If I click on it and hit this little this little X up here, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but um, click on the video, this little X right here, that deletes it out. So I'm gonna hit okay and delete it. So there, it's gone. Let's do that again. So um, remember, click on the little box at the top right. I get my, my content builder. Default, I find video right here. And then I can choose one of these. I chose this top one. 
let's choose this one right here. I click and hold and drag it until I get this little vertical, grayed out vertical bar. Do you see that right there? There it is, and I drop it, and then it drops in the element. It's just kind of a preset, predefined um, structure that you can add to your homepage here. Here's the video again. I can edit this video by hitting edit link, just like we did before. But then on this particular um, option, I can, I've got text over here. Now this is just some sample text, but I can change this to whatever I want. It explains the differences between real pearl jewelry and fake imitations, right? Um, whoops, let's not do fake imitations, let's do fake jewelry. Fake imitations is kind of uh, redundant, I guess. And then I could come in here and I could write a little paragraph, I could put in some content right here by the video if I wanted to explain more. So it gives you an option to have a video on your left or right and then have some content, which is kind of cool. And you can do all of that on your home page. Okay. Now remember, I can't do that. I can't use the content builder on, on product pages or category pages. So this really is only a good option if I'm doing a home page or I'm going to show you here in just a sec how to do it on an informational page. Informational pages like maybe this company info page. Right, so I clicked company info and it took me to another informational page here. I can always check at the top right to see if content, uh, the content builder is, is open, and it is in this case, which means I could come here, grab video, and then I could drag and drop video over. Right, to the top where I see the little gray, the little gray uh, rectangle, or down here at the bottom, there it is there. I could drag it top or bottom and it would work. I'm putting it on the top this time. And then there it is, video on the right, content on the left, because I chose um, this particular one in the content builder. Okay, pretty easy, right? That's how I can add video there. Now I'm just going to delete this out. And let's look at adding video to maybe a category page real quick. Okay, so I'm going to go to the earrings category here. And let's say for a second I want some video maybe at the bottom of this page for some reason, right? Although I will say on category pages, I don't like a lot of content here at the top because I don't like to push my products down the page. So it's, it's best to have maybe just a little content at the top of your, of your category pages and that's it. Have most of your content at the bottom because you don't want your products pushed down the page. That'll, that'll actually hurt your conversion rate. So um, I'm gonna edit this page first. Right click the black box Come over here and hit edit this category. And on the category edit page here, I'm going to come down here in the category description section. So this is under advanced info, category descriptions. Um, this one right here, category description is what shows up at the top. This one right here, secondary description is, a, is what shows up at the bottom. Um, this might be where I want to put my video. So putting, putting video here is easy. You click this little button right here on the toolbar. Looks like a little play button, the one that I just circled in red. Okay, let me do, let me actually erase that. Click on the little button, and it wants the video embed code. Okay, where do I get that? Well, on YouTube, it's easy. I just showed you guys that. If you're watching a YouTube video, simply click on embed and grab this code right here. This whole entire thing, you've got to copy it, and then you paste it in right here and hit insert, okay? If I do that, there's my video. My video is now sitting embedded into my content, okay? I'm not gonna keep it here, I'll delete this out, but I wanted to show you that's how you add it in. Using the, the WYSIWYG editor, which is this right here. When I, when I say WYSIWYG, I'm talking about this editor bar right here. Some of you guys should know what WYSIWYG stands for. Anybody know what that stands for? Looks like this. It's an acronym for what you see is what you get. 
which is just a, an editor in web design. That's what this is right here. And within the WYSIWYG, we use this tool right here, the little play button, okay? Pretty simple, right? Okay, so let me delete that out. So that's for a category page. If you wanna do it on a product page, I think it's even easier. So let me show you how to do that real quick and then we'll finish up. Inventory and then products. So we get to all of our products here on our Volusion site. Let's grab this test product right here. So I'm into the edit screen of a product, which should look pretty familiar to you. And as I scroll down here, there's a spot called YouTube Video Management, okay? I'm gonna click on that. And then I click the Add button. It says you can add multiple YouTube videos to your product page, drag and drop video thumbnails to reorder, okay? So I hit the Add button right here. And I just need the YouTube video link. And I think the link that they're asking for is this one right here. It's the URL right up at the very top. So I'm, I'm actually gonna grab that. I'm gonna highlight it, copy it. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna paste it in and hit add. And then it shows up right here. And it will show up on this product when I save it. All right, pretty easy. Um, we'll save it. And let's see if we can view it live. Yeah, see that? Uh, this is just a test product, but here's my video. It automatically shows up down here in the description, and I could play it from here. This is great if you've got product video, right? Product review video, maybe testimonial video for a product. Um, you know, something that looks at it in different angles, enhances the description. Whatever the case may be, as long as you've got the YouTube link, you should be able to put it out there. Now, occasionally, just to finish up, I get questions about, hey, well, what's the legality of just grabbing YouTube videos? And here's my disclaimer. I'm, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, right? I'm not, I'm not here to give you legal advice. So take this for what it's worth because it's not legal advice. You should consult an attorney if you want some real legal advice. But in my experience, I actually haven't, if, you, if you've got a video on YouTube and it's available on YouTube, the person who uploaded it um, they have the option of making it to where it's not shareable. But, you know, most people who upload some, something to YouTube, they want it seen, they want it used. YouTube wants it used and shared and seen. And so if you're putting it on YouTube, you're probably asking to have it shared on the Internet, which is why most YouTubes on or most videos on YouTube are fair game. And I don't think I've ever heard of anybody getting in trouble over that, although I'm sure you could find instances. I've used plenty of YouTube video over the years and never had a problem. So. I think it's okay. Technically, I think a, a lawyer may tell you to ask permission. So if your supplier has videos of their product, it might be wise to ask permission of your supplier. Make sure you can use them. But 99% of the time, I actually think it's okay. But take that for what it's worth. We're, we're not here to give legal advice. Um, I just wanted to show you how to get those videos onto your site. Okay? Easy enough, right? So if, if you've got any questions about that, talk to your coach. But otherwise, I think we're going to finish up there. Glad all of you guys can make it. Hopefully that's helpful. There is some value to using video on your Volusion site. And now you should be able to put it on your homepage, and category pages, product pages, and informational pages. Pretty easy. And, and some of those pages using that new content builder that we showed you. Pretty cool stuff. All right, guys. We will see you next week. Thanks for coming along for our Volusion training today.